Of course I thought it was my day, but uh uh not with this one. I'm about to actually show you. I will show you what is actually happening inside. Oh, my heart really broke when I saw what's happening inside. Anyway, I have a story to share with you. I have to bring this. I've been scammed in Johannesburg CBD, trying to sort out my life by buying a new phone because I did not have a phone. Um, I'll tell you also all about that because that's also drama dramatic, <laughs> dramatic. I sold my phone because I was going through the most financially and whilst I was going through, going through the most financially, I was like, I can't fix my finances without my cell phone. So me, the clever one, was like, let's get it cheaper. <laughs> So when I was in Cape Town, I experienced at least four robberies, right? In which one of them I did share a story earlier on in 2019 of how it happened and how it got down. So you can check that out later after this. But that was just four robberies. When I got to Joburg, then I experienced another one my very first week when I got here. Essentially, I did get my phone um, from flying inside a car and flying out a damn car. Mm. And from then I moved on because the Meleni, I was just like, I am a cussy girl. Me? No one can rob me. <laughs> So me, the clever one, was like, let's get it cheaper, but let's get it also doing all the jobs at a great price. Your Instagram, your emails, your good photography so that we can be an active girl on TikTok. All those fancy things, I wanted them at a cheaper price, but that was not a good idea. Tomasam, you don't want to be scammed. Let me show you. Look at this. Can you see this? The... This is the phone I got. But now, let me tell you the story of how I got this phone. If I could show you this phone, which I'm about to, I'm going to open it for you. Look at it. Look, look. Oh, wait, Tunana. So how this happened was in my struggle of trying to obviously stabilize my life as a person that's also in the in that public space on an influencer level, but nano, right? Because um, I was making money. I was making quite a bit um, when it comes to my influencing. So for me, a proper phone is vital. You don't, it's not even a should I, should I not, because I've already committed to that life. I've already tried making it possible and I've, I was already, you know, making, I mean, Tamkulu, all of those things on the internet, those were really bringing me money. People might not understand and conceptualize to what extent, but for me, it is a matter of like, we cannot have this not working. Bone. So whilst I was trying to get my life together, I went to Johannesburg CBD. So I've already, I've lived in Johannesburg CBD before and I've even made a video about life went a lot and I had to move out because of the utilities, rent, alles. It was just, I was coercion with none. But I'm quite comfortable with this space. I know a lot of people are, are not acquainted with Johannesburg CBD because it's quite a scary place that they would say. But for me, again, so I was just like, I can do this. I know I can. So I went there because I've seen people selling phones and I was just like, I'm going to do this. But Nana, I went there knowing that I am willing to pay as much as a thousand rand, one thousand rand for a cell phone that is, that is conducive and that's going to allow me to make more from it, right? But at the same time, I was like, I'm, I, I'm a bartering queen. I like negotiating. It's in my blood. I want to try my luck. So even if it means trying from 500 and going up. But Jesus said, uh, uh, if you're going to try from 500, no, no, so back this time. Me, I'm going to make you clever because that's not how you do things. So anyway, it's nine o'clock in the morning. I decided to go to Johannesburg. I live in Randburg right now. So I had to travel that side. I was like, yes, girl, I'm ready. Uh, let's buy this phone. Sisela, po. I walk around, I first do some window shopping, looking around, just sussing some people. And mind you, I am using my 
street wiseness, wisdom, all of those fancy things to assure that at least I kind of have a comfortability of the space. And you know, I'm by Park Station, by the way, that lane where yellow clothes, yellow fruit, yellow veg, yellow KFC, yellow everything. There's just a lot of, a lot. So I was there trying to just, again, like I said, trying my luck. So as I was walking there, I was like, okay, cool. I spotted five or four people selling cell phones and I was like, girl, this is my day. This is my day. This is my day. Of course, I thought it was my day, but uh -uh, not with this one. I'm about to actually show you. I will show you what is actually happening inside. Oh, my heart really broke when I saw what's happening inside. So out of all that drama, eventually I commit to choosing one person. I choose a guy that looks like me, a black man. Yes. I'm like, you know what? I want to support a black man. The truth is I did feel bad about buying a phone on the streets because most of the time they've been stolen and I didn't feel good about that because I've been in a situation where I've almost lost a phone. So buying a phone is perpetuating that behavior. It's me saying yes. Go um, steal more phones so that I can come by. There is a customer for you. You know what I'm saying? Again, sometimes you don't know it's from a person that's desperate and perhaps places like Cash Converters, Cash Crusaders, which is your dealerships where you can sell your phone so that it's sold at a second hand. Those are not offering the best prices. And then that person is willing to go on the road and possibly negotiate a better price. But again, with the type of person that I was with, I was like, oh, I hope you didn't steal it from a person. Oh, it's complicated. I chose a person and I was like, yes, hello, Unjani. Obviously giving them that yeah, say, Chonga, we are in Bormadi, don't was. So, don't you dare. But, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no. You don't make commands to the one above because they come back for you. So I approached this guy and I was like, I'm looking for a phone. I'm looking for this kind of phone. It needs to be able to do this, this, and that. Gave the specification. What is Zagat Zoom? It's a vibe. Then in my head, I was like, okay, this is happening. I chose the best one, the right one, because I am vigilant. I am that girl, okay? With that said, um, I get to him, he shows me the phone. I take the phone. I take the phone. I take the phone, right? After taking the phone, I look at the phone. I go on the different apps. They're not logged on, but they're active and I can see. It's an Android. I'm not an Android queen. I am literally a, a member of a cult, which is the iOS. But because I'm going through the most, I'm like, this is where I started my life. I was an Android girl. So this is not branding you. Oh, Lord, did I trust Android and its shenanigans. My mela, I'm not done. I'm that time. To say, to say, say, Balini. I check the phone and I'm like, okay, this is vibes. This is, this is something I would buy. And this guy is probably like, will negotiate it for a price that is worth what I'm here to pay because I'm only here to pay a certain amount, right? So I throw my first price, which is 500 Rand. I don't throw it first, actually. He throws his price first. He said it was 900 Rand. And then I'm like, I came here with 500 Rand. I didn't know that I would be charged so much for a phone of this nature. Then Nobuji is like, um, What do you mean of this nature? You need this phone. Then I'm like, I'm willing to go to seven. That's as far as I can go because that's, as, that's all I have. So whilst I'm there, my man, as soon as I'm, I took it, okay, cool, it's fine. Vibe with me. Give me that 700 and then I will give you the phone. I'm like, I have the phone. He's like, oh yeah, you do. Keep it on you. I keep it on me because I am that girl. My man, I said I am that girl. I keep it on me and I hand over them the money. And I did have 500, 100 rand and 100 rand in my pocket. So I divided it so that as I negotiate, I make sure that Nana, I, I reach out to different pockets. So whilst I was trying to reach out to my different pockets, 
I reached out to 700 Rand. To be honest, I brought 1,000 Rand. So for me, it was a bargain. It was a damn bargain. But no, which one? This? Weirdly enough, after I send the money, it's like, quickly go. Quickly go, quickly go. And I'm like, oh, bow, let me go. So I'm also now feeling cuck about the fact that I bought this phone and it's probably was stolen to someone and now I'm trying to benefit from it on a, you know, long-term note. But I did it. Close my eyes. I'm on the move. I go. Trust me, by then, when I bought this phone, I had done everything that I needed to do at the CBD. Obviously, the CBD is a very cheap hub for fruit, veg, clothing, and everything that are utilities, necessities in your life. So I was done with all of that. So it was time for me, essentially, to, to just vibe it out and go. So I went and I flew out. I, I got a taxi very quickly and I was on my way. So Sam, let me tell you, in my heart, it felt weird, wrong, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm in the zone of let's just not check the phone, don't do that, you've done that already, and just move, move. Ah! If anything, before I even finish the story, I'm going to share this advice. Do not buy a phone on the go, on the line, on the road. Just invest in it, wait on it till you can afford the right one because it's not worth it. And it's so, it actually, it's worth feeling great about your new device that you are about to take care of and do the right things with it. Well, so, anyway, as the tax is moving and I'm getting closer to Randburg, which is basically close to Cresta, which is where I live in Johannesburg. Hi, Midnana. I'm like, let me check my new phone. Let me check my, my new phone. I was like, let me check my new phone. Oh, as I was checking my new phone, as I was out of the spell. I was out of the spell. It was out. It was no longer in existence in my spirit. JC Moss. I mean, seriously, yo, Zandira, okay? That is called by yo, Soze, Soze, Soze. We are talking about just heaven. Soze, we just heaven. I'm not talking about just heaven. I'm talking about the moon, but when the phone, the money, on the nail, I'm talking that easy. Oh, I could not believe it. I, I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, this is it. I have been scammed in Johannesburg CBD. It doesn't make sense if I'm sharing the story. Let me show you quickly the actual phone. I know I showed you a little bit, but very quickly. As you can see, no camera. But again, when I was holding it, there was a camera. I saw it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, it's a pouch. It's a Samsung pouch. Um, and that's the phone I viewed. It was a Samsung and it had all the apps. And inside, as you can see, you know what? There's a bit of humor, which is something that I at least will work with um with these empty end but kukoi but uh, and it, it gives it the weight it still feels like a phone mara when you voila when you open it it's not anyway i don't know what that to be honest the truth is okay definitely use some sort of yes a, a spell not a spell but some sort of medi medicine because i had the phone i know i had the phone i know i had the phone but after some research, there are people that have gone under the same scan. So I'm doing this video for you, if anything, to say, some of them, it's not worth it. Don't even try and think you're going to be lucky. When you meet a person under that spell, like, everything just works. Everything, you feel like you've gotten all your answers correctly answered by the Lord. But, Markanti, you are being scammed. Being scammed? There is no being scam proof. You just gotta be that vigilant girl. So yeah, otherwise, you know what? Thank you so much for listening to my story. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what other things you'd like to hear from me. This year has been very rough for me. From a person that has been socially active to socially inactive. Um, there's a lot of things that have been happening in between. A lot of mistakes. Um, I would like to share the story, but at the same time, I'm full of sharing his story with people that don't want to to hear the stories. So, from me to you, I am Sitems if I didn't introduce myself. 
I love you, darling. I can only look fine. I can never, can never, can never dance again. You, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not the type.